Look at this. I'm freaking huge. Freaking huge. Yeah, I know I got problems. <laughs> Welcome to That's Not Sexy. I'm your master level personal trainer, Alex Diaz, aka Mr. Freaking Huge. <laughs> um, this video is going to be about muscle soreness, muscle fatigue, lactic acids, all the good stuff. So, let's um, first talk about what the hell lactic acid is. And lactic acid. Uh, is formed by break uh, when the glucose is broken down, then you you have lactic acid. So when you have carbs, you know, co co conversion glucose. Uh, when you when you um when you're training hard, you use glucose, sugars in your muscles, and that is form then form uh, lactic acids. So, but a lot of people think that since uh, the pain and soreness they get from uh, you know, during the workout uh, is from lactic acids. <laughs> Sorry, it's from lactic acids, but it has nothing to do with lactic acids. Um, it's just the when the soreness you get from you know just fatiguing the muscle, micro tears, all see onset muscle fatigue you get when you're training hard and you're tearing your muscles down to make them bigger and stronger. So, um, uh, lactic acid, I will say, uh, when it breaks. Because um, it does break into two, to lactate and also a uh, hydrogen ion. Uh, uh, accumulation of uh, too much hydrogen will cause, um, so hydrogen ion will cause that um, it actually impairs um, the re, uh, how can I put it? It impairs the receptors you in, in your muscles. So uh, you do kind of feel a little bit. You know, you feel sore, and that's the soreness is from the too much building, a build, too much build buildup of hydrogen ions. But we're not talking about um, hydrogen ions by themselves and a max load of, of a buildup of it. We're talking about lactate, lact the lactic acid as a whole. And when it does split, you have lactate. Lactate is a form of fuel that your your heart and muscles love to use. So. Um, it's actually more the preferred uh, fuel your, your heart and muscles use. So um, it, it, it provides steady amount of uh, you know, constant carbs. So um, so you'll be training for two hours, and you, if you actually if you take a, lac, a lactate drink, um, it helps with um, you know um, recovery. Your uh, it helps with endurance. So you, when you have uh, build up of lactic acid, this always happens in your body. So um, I don't understand why some people say that lactic acid is bad for you. It's actually your your heart and your muscles love and need it. Okay, um, and it has nothing to do with um, the soreness that you get. So I hope you understand that there's no correlation with lactic acid and micro tears that you. That you um that you do when you when you work out, that's the the micro tears that you have are from your training when you're tearing the muscles down. They have nothing to do with lactic acid. Okay, so don't don't think that when you have soreness or you while you're training you feel that burn it has nothing to do with lactic acid. Again, it's like we're we're having a a tug of war with a rope and I just pull all you guys down and I need three more people so we can just stabilize and hold the fiber together and make it stronger. That's what happens when we're, we're, um, we're working out. So we're tearing our muscle fibers to make them bigger and stronger. And in the process, that's the, the fatigue you get. Nothing to do with lactic acid. Now, there is a difference in soreness from, uh, you know, from depending on how long you train, uh, how much rest you had in between your training, you train the same muscle group, or you're a beginner, or you're an advanced. So if you're a beginner, obviously, and you're going to do legs for the first time, you're going to be sore for like three, four, four days because you're brand new to training and you've never done a workout. So you're, the soreness you get will be um, longer than others versus someone who's been training for many years and they do legs all the time. Not to say that they won't get sore if you're an if you're an expert, you know, like a 
advanced athlete, yeah, you're going to be sore, but not as bad when you first started because your muscles um, were never ever trained. And then obviously when your muscles have never been trained and they're being torn down, they're gonna you're going to feel like crap. You're going to feel sore. You can't move. You can't go to the toilet. You can't do anything because you're brand new. You fatigue the muscle, micro tears, micro traumas, and that causes the pain and soreness. Not lactic acid. <laughs> okay. So, um, I, um, what was I going to say about soreness? If you do feel sore and, you know, um, you don't want to train that muscle group until that muscle is completely, you know, recovered, obviously, um, unless you, um, we're not talking about cardio because cardio will help in recovery. So if you did legs, you're supposed to do cardio right after you do legs because if not, you're going to get so sore the next day. It will actually help your, um, you know, get rid of the byproducts and all the waste. So um, make sure you do you do cardio after you do, especially your leg workout. It's very important you do some cardio at least 30 minutes after you train your leg workout to help just get more nutrients to the to the muscle, get rid of waste products, and you know it help relieve the soreness because you get more nutrients to the muscle and you get rid of waste products. So. Um, for anyone who's watching my videos and they're brand new to training and they're going to start training hard, um, you're going to feel sore, okay, and don't train that muscle group until that muscle is completely recovered. Make sure you do cardio after every weight training session, at least you know, 15, 30 minutes, uh, especially after legs, very important, and don't blame lactic acid because that has nothing to do with it, okay, um, and it's good for you because it helps you recover. It helps with uh, supplying uh, steady carbs. Uh, it helps with uh, you know, performance. And even if you're doing two hours worth of training, it, it still that lactate, which is split after lactic acid, helps with all this. So there you go. I'm not gonna go into the whole breakdown of ATP and all this shit because that's really complicated and people want to understand what the hell I'm talking about. So I just pretty much make it simplify for everybody and just tell it how it is so that's it. i know i probably missed some things but i just ramble and there it is so um that's it so make sure you uh subscribe to my channel that's not sexy and also my second channel mr freaking huge which i have quick did you know facts if you want to impress your friends so if you want to impress your friends subscribe to this channel and to my second channel um become a fan of my fan page at facebook.com slash that's not sexy buy my shirts at that's not sexy .com. and if you're not subscribed that's not sexy I'm freaking you wait for it wait for it nom nom nom